Hello, welcome to my channel. The time now is 8.54. What is this? 8.54 a.m. Thursday. And my topic is um, want to be je um, journalist. Why I say this? Because I would never respect them as journalists. They ain't nothing but orders and bloggers and stuff like that. I saw something so appalling. Before I do anything else, I must say praise to the most the most high and many machoni, as my Lakota brothers say, water's life. Getting back to what I was saying, I still have my GoFundMe page for Indians in Pueblo Village that needs stoves in New Mexico. Now, getting back to what I was talking about, I saw something and they even made the eyewitness news. That's how bad they want to be news reporters, they um, they was harassing people. All they do is harass people. That's not jerk. Half of them, they be talking, they write people out. They write going to be violated. None time I've seen a video. This guy is a, 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 a wicked ass man. They beat this man like Rodney King. And I don't know why there's no arrest being made. They, they keep getting, they think they're bubbly. They got big eagle chips. I sold out on the eyewitness news. This elder, this elderly lady, this Jessica man, stepped up the elderly lady. They beat this man down. I think he was um, African American and stuff. I think that's what he was. And all these guys was white, uh, uh fake bootleg, bootlickers. Um, um, I don't even consider them journalists. They not journalists. Journalists don't carry on like that and dress like they some kind of Star Wars hero. Y'all, y'all villains. You ain't no goddamn hero. I did not like that, and that's why I would, would never, never ever call them a journalist. You can make up fake-ass presses, but you can't go to school for that, because my cousin went to school for that. He's an anchor person. He said he don't even, he don't act like that. It, they beat this man down and stomped his head and, and everything, and no arrest was being made. I don't know what happened to it. I have to follow up on it, but that was wrong. You know, they were the rats in this other day, and she hit him with a cane, and the man stepped in, and they beat him down. And, and, and uh, uh, that's why I don't respect them. They're not, they not depressed. They just uh, um, criminals, and they act like a, a ghetto thug ass hoolum niggas. That's what they are. I say, don't have you have to be a black person. Any black can be a nigger, and stuff like that. I call it as I see. They beat that man down for helping somebody. That's why when I saw that one at the stopping shop tomorrow, I'm gonna be on the on the Facebook for life. I said I don't give. Two flying F's. You ain't going to antagonize me. They, they like encounters. They keep saying they don't. They want that footage. That's why they like to always film things. And, and I read that, that, that pamphlet that they got in the post office. They do put a, a, a permission from the post master. You ever see them doing that? And when they don't see signs, then when you see signs, they still have a problem with they dumb. I know, and, and, and when the people create privacy, they tell people to create privacy. You all going to go follow the person in the building. If you don't see no sign, you know it's there for a reason. I'm not going to go and be, they always want something posted, restricted. Even when it's restricted, they go back there. I haven't seen um, Narragansett uh, Press do that. They went in the post or went in the parking lot. Nobody wasn't supposed to go back there. They, got, they think they got the authority to do that. And they think of uh, the law only work for them. Like the other people ain't got no rights. Well, everybody got rights. It's like your dumb asses got rights. And so, like, but y'all overstep y'all boundaries. And that's why my wife don't even look at y'all. She y'all turn her stomach. Because y'all always are rascal people. These people had their job. The job y'all got, to me, I'm, I don't consider the job. That's a, a, a place of harassment. Y'all harass people to the fullest. So, I would never, ever respect y'all as a journalist. Uh, what I saw, that was appalling. I, I mean, the way they beat this man up. So that's all I got to say for now. I would say more, uh, like I talk about immigrants. I call them extraterrestrials because they don't act like a human person. You ever seen a predator? Have you ever seen a predator be friendly? Only sometime when he he's a good one. But most aliens, no matter if they Haitian, Jamaican, Egyptians, not all of them, because I do have immigrant friends that agree with me. So I'm not saying nothing bad about anybody. I'm just speaking my truth. I have seen them and worked with them 
at Foxwood, the casino out in Connecticut. Nobody wanted to work with me. Hey, sh Hello, Moto. Hello? Hello? Hello. Uh huh. Where are you at? I'm downstairs. I'm right in front of my hands on a heart, but I'm. Listen, right I'm not, I, I woke up this morning and my chest was just tight, so I canceled my appointment, but I still, as you know, with Rosemary, I want you to see. I'm still going to go to the store, though. Okay. All right. All right. Do you got um money to eat? No, I'm broke. I had to pay something on this car. I don't have no money until the first. And I, I didn't eat uh other day, but I did um eat something when I got home. I had a little something, but see the food, the, the the voucher that she gave me uh, and stuff like that. I take it in and uh, and get the food for Dan and take it home. And Rose Mercer, that's nice. I said, yeah, you're supposed to look out for your wife. You yeah, know? I told her that. Mm -hmm. Well, um, listen. Mm -hmm. I am coming downstairs, but I'm about to um, get up and start getting ready. The chicken that she gave you, that you eat with it, mm -hmm. and um, I'll be downstairs to give you the money for um, your life. Okay, thank you. I'm about to start getting ready now and go downstairs. All right, okay, thank All right, you. Sweetie. Okay, yeah. okay bye. bye. Well, that was my friend, so I'll talk to y'all later. Donna Die Wado. Take care and have a blessed day.